This is ZNS Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. Negative voice notes from B3S executive Dexter Bodie have been circulating around on social media. Bodie's comments were made about the country's two medalists at this year's IAAF World Championships, Stephen Gardner and Shawnee miller Weibo. B3's boss, Rose Carey, addressed the issue at yesterday's media luncheon. When I inquired into it, I was informed that the note was sent in the private coaches group chat. And I understand there was back and forth communication. I had a conversation with Coach Bodie. He has since apologized to the Millers, Mrs. May Miller and Coach Miller, and he's also sent an apology to Mr. C Stephen Gardner. That the views expressed were unfortunate, and they are not the views and opinions of the Federation. Both views that were expressed were not for public consumption. And I personally believe that it was leaked to add fuel to the firestorm already brewing. Another topic of discussion at yesterday's B3's media luncheon was interference from personal coaches during national team competitions. When you are selected to a national team, you should be still be able to allow to work with your personal coach, but not to the detriment of the team. Meaning that if your head coach said or your relay coach say you are to be available to run at this event or that event, you ought to make yourself available. Personal coaches ought not to interfere in a national team and a national team directive to, to an athlete. Going forward with all of the growing pains that we had, I will show you that policies, written policies will be in place and will be disseminated to athletes and coaches, so everybody will be made aware prior to the next season what the expectation will be from the athletes named to the national team. Pitching will be key when Team Bahamas travels next month for international competition. Our Julian Gibson caught up with one of the aces on the staff to get his take. Alcott Forbes, one of the team leaders on this year's men's national softball team, says that the 242 can compete. We added some, some young blood, some first time uh, fellas to the national team. I think they are well and ready physically, uh, mentally, to make a contribution for this country. But I think too that we need a greater commitment from the players uh, with respect to trying to get themselves where we need to be uh, in order to qualify for these tournaments. You believe you have a better team this year than the past team that went away? Well, I think we have a more defensive squad because if you remember the last trip, uh, we made some very key errors in games that we should have put away. And I think the management has made uh, some very, very hard decisions with respect to uh, giving the rookies an opportunity over the more experienced ball players who aren't on the team at this time. You know the burden to fall on you and our love. We both understand that it starts with us and we have to do more than the other ball players uh, with respect to getting in shape uh, and being ready to play more than seven innings because in those tournaments, uh, very rare you score more than five runs, you know, defense very tight. You, uh, being one of the leaders, one of the veterans, uh, what do you tell some of the young players uh, on this team because some of them never played at this level? Well, the only thing I can advise them on is to uh, just relax and let the game come to them. You know, don't overreact to the situation. I understand they have some butterflies, but the game don't change. Remember what the managers uh, showed you during the practice sessions. <clears throat> Remember that the game and the rules of the game remain the same and just have some fun and I can assure you that we will get the results that we set out to achieve. 
Hopefully, Alcott Forbes can lead Team Bahamas to a medal. Reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. From the minor league baseball diamond yesterday, Todd Isaacs won for four with a solo home run. Lake County fell to Lansing 10-3. Lucius Fox also won for four with a double, an RBI, and a run scored in Charlotte 6-4 win over Clearwater. Meantime, Chavez Young, he had a hit in his only play appearance. To go along with an RBI and a run scored, Bluefield beat Johnson City 5-2. Still on news from the minors, Anthony Seymour will join a group of eight Atlanta Brave prospects on the Peoria Javelinas in this year's Arizona Fall League. The six-team league begins play October 10th. The All-Star game is November 4th, with the championship set for November 18th. Shinari Hepburn back playing professional volleyball in the Greek First Division. It's a top 10 league in Europe, and this season he'll be playing with A.O. Kafisio. I signed with the team basically because I wanted to stay in Greece for one more season and try to develop a little bit more before I try to break out into a bigger market. Expectations for this season is to make it to the Final Four, at least. I feel like with me being added to the roster, that the team has a good chance of making it to the finals of the league and making some noise in Greece. Less than a month ago now, before the CAC Bodybuilding and Fitness Championships, Lakeisha Miller will compete in women's physique. Shakira Ferguson is in the bikini division, while Christiane Butler will be in women's figure. It has been a rough road for me dealing with an injury operation, but I'm back and fully recovered. So... It was gruesome, the hard training, blood, sweat, and tears. I'm ready to get it on. I have that confidence in myself that I can go out there and perform and bring it on, bring home the goal. I've been working out seven days a week, um, and it's really, really hard. You know, so hopefully I do well. And that'll do it for sports. Stay tuned, check on weather still to come.